Vitamin D, very important, especially these days with the, with the virus coronavirus going around. going around. It's very important to take high dose vitamin D. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, we have Erwin back. How you doing, Erwin? Fine, and yourself? How you doing? Great. So Erwin had this, what we call a venous stasis ulcer. He had this um, uh, vein issue where he had a swelling. The, the skin became weak and he had ulcers all over, really large. We had previous uh, videos that we, we've done, but now it's all closed. Look how beautiful it looks. There's a little bit of area that has a little callus tissue here, which is what we're doing now to clean all that out. And hopefully it'll fill in with all the good, nice um, skin. Uh, Erwin has been coming almost weekly for a while. He's persistent, really paid off where we got all of these really improved now. So here he's here again. So I'm gonna clean this out. And he's a, uh, what I call a very healthy guy. He's into all the stuff that I'm into. Right, Erwin? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> So he's really into all the stuff, so. He, Tell us uh, what is your secret of uh, healing this uh, very nicely like this. So I know you take a lot of supplements, right? Yes, sir. So tell me about your supplements. Uh, supplements, I take like a, a good uh, high grade of uh, D. Vitamin, vitamin D? Uh, D, uh, uh -huh. uh, 10,000. Oh, 10,000 a day? Uh, with, wow. Uh, with K2. I take, uh, K2. Uh -huh. I take two a day. Two a day. Oh, so you take 20,000 a day? Yes, sir. Wow, that's what I take. That's high dosage, but it's uh, if you, you take your vitamin D like a level test, is it in yes, good yes. is it in good place? Right. Yes. Okay. I, 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 I took a test on that. Uh, talking, vitamin D very important, especially these days with the, with the virus is coronavirus going, going around. It's very important to take high dose vitamin D. Colds or what have you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else? Um, vitamin C, high grade of vitamin C. Vitamin C. Uh huh. I take one that's uh. A buffered uh, powder that bring it oh, into powder. the system pretty fast. Right, right, uh huh, yeah. uh huh. And it doesn't cause stomach uh, problem because if that you take correct. vitamin C, a lot of people feel uh, kind of nauseated sometimes. How much uh, vitamin C do you take? Vitamin C right now, I'm taking uh, oh, about five thousand. Five thousand every day. Wow, he's even better than me. I take about three thousand. Some days I take more, but. Um, there's a lot of controversy about the kidney stones. It may cause kidney stone, but I haven't seen one yet. I've seen other people take a lot higher dosage in a natural medicine environment, but they haven't experienced any kidney stones. But uh, anyways, go. So you 5,000. Okay, what else? I take magnesium. Magnesium, okay. That's really good. You kind of have to take uh, magnesium uh, with the vitamin C because it depletes... Um, um, if you take a lot of vitamin C and vitamin D, it can deplete your magnesium level so right. it is recommended that you take a lot of vitamin i mean the magnesium mm -hmm. okay how much magnesium you, you magnesium 500 uh, milligrams 500 milligrams okay uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. what else i know you yeah, i know you I do take, a lot of other stuff i take uh, potassium potassium okay separately okay excellent uh -huh. how about the food wise what kind of food wise i take uh, juice plus supplements oh you do okay Juice plus supplements. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. They're really good product. It gives you all your daily required vegetables that you need as uh -huh. well as fruits. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's a good way to cut out the sugar. Cut out the sugar, right? Cut out the sugar because if you drink uh, regular fruit juices, they have too much sugar in them. Right, right, right. Uh -huh. So it defeats the purpose of, um, uh, especially if you have a... Uh, you're diabetic and you have a sugar problem, mm -hmm. uh, insulin, um, juice plus is a, would, would be a good product mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for you. Even if you're diabetic and or not a diabetic, it, it, it helps to keep you healthy. Right, right. And you don't have to go out and buy uh, all those juices. You just take the... Uh, is that like a capsules? capsule? Is yes. that like capsules? Okay. Capsules behind and, and you drink them with water, with water and you take it with your, your meal. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes. What other good food do you eat? You eat a lot of salad and I eat a lot of salad. Drink a lot of fluid too. You drink a lot of water, right? A lot of water. I drink uh, half my body weight. I drink yeah. half my body weight. Uh huh. The good thing about that is it can help you lose weight. Help you lose weight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
lot people, of people. Yeah, people don't talk about that, but yeah, water definitely washes yeah. you down. And Not only that, it helps the digestion. Yeah, yeah digestion and everything else. It's a good bowel movement. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. It moves you. Right. It really moves you, okay? Because a lot of people just, uh, mm -hmm. uh, they eat, 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 and don't drink enough water in the course of the day. Uh, to wash it down, right? And they have, you know, have constipation problems. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. which is really bad. And then you're... Your, your body is not taking in enough uh, water. Uh-huh. How about what other food do you like that's healthy? Uh, but, uh, if at all possible, I try to get organic food, like uh, fish or salmon. Ah, oh, salmon, salmon, excellent, yeah, huh? I like salmon, ex ex excellent. Uh-huh. A lot of omega-3s, huh? Yeah, that's correct, omega-3s. Yeah, so Urban is really healthy. He eats well. He eats a lot of organic stuff. He takes a lot of supplements. And he really paid off. He's been really persistent. There was a huge hole here. I'm going to show you the picture of before when he first came to me. Now it's all healed. Not only healed, but it's a lot of the rough skins are healing as well. We're still putting the, uh, what we call a wound boot, compression uh, breast, uh, dressing, and then some medications. So we're changing it weekly, and then it's really helping to uh, decrease inflammation and getting rid of the the ulcer and the new skin forming and almost uh, we're almost there now so we're I'm very happy to show you that he's doing very well not only what we're doing here in the clinic but he's doing a lot of things on his own to keep himself healthy so that uh, ultimately he's on healing so so that's how it goes I want to show you how much I took off here on the callus you see all the Cows that was taken off, so there's quite a bit right there, which is what we do all the time. I'm gonna use some uh, antibiotic cream like Silvadine, which works very well for healing up the skin, which is a prescription type of antibacterial and skin healing medicine. And I put a little bit of the uh, bandage there. And what I use is called the um, Unabut, it's a wet medicated dressing that compresses the area to decrease inflammation and swelling of the legs so it heals um, this ulcer, we call it venous stasis ulcer, ulcer from the, uh, the vein issue. So we just put that uh, right there, just laying on it, not too tight, and then we're going to put around this area of the wound and then we go from there. So what else do you recommend for those who have these kind of ulcers in their legs? What is what is your secret weapon there, Owen? I know you have some. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a really healthy guy. You know, we always talk about a lot of good food and what he's doing. I know he sees a, a, a a doctor who specializes in natural healing, right? Right, yeah. Good IV, good IV tr treatments are good. Yeah. IV treatment, okay. Like, what kind of stuff like do you get? Uh, chelation. Oh, chelation. Like to clean out all your, all your arteries, and all that. arteries and toxins and all of that, right? Right. How often yes. do you get the IV chelation, we call that? IV chelation, um, well, you do so many treatments and, you know, maybe every other year, that kind of thing. Oh, okay. So it's not uh -huh. all the time. But once in a while, you, you clean out your arteries and right. all the bad stuff that Maybe are Maybe 20 or 30 treatments in the course of a year or so. Oh, is that right? Oh, that's, uh, that's quite often. And then on top of that, off of uh, the cellular collation, there's also what they call enhanced collation. Uh -huh. uh, what is that? It's the same as the collation, but it's a, it's a little it's a step up. Oh, really? Right. So uh, better stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That cleans your arteries so that they can heal this area quickly, huh? Right. So this is a little bit compressive uh, dressing on top of uh, that initial dressing. So this is how we do it. And I'm gonna see him next week to take this off again and clean it out again. And we keep going until we regenerate all the tissues in the area. Thank you, Arvind, today for allowing us to film today. Thank Very you. You're welcome.